Hi, I'm Bonnie Francis, and you're watching the Season Adult Show. I have Daphne Young with me. She is um, one of the employees at Serenity Enhancement, and we talked before about the program, but just give us a recap um, what Serenity Enhancement is, in case people didn't see the first show, where you're located, that type of thing. Okay. Uh, we are, first thank you for having us today. Sure. We are located here in Historical Centerville on 207 North Liberty Street, Suite C. Our program is a socialization program for 50, excuse me, 55 and older adults who aren't quite safe enough to stay home alone um, and could use a socialization. Right. We also teach people that have some minor handicaps if we can accommodate them. So how does a person get in touch with you? What would they need to do? Can they just show up and come in and look at the facility or? Usually I get a phone call first. Okay. And I fill them in about the general details, but I always encourage people to come see the center. Right. We say it's a home-like environment, but it really doesn't do it justice until you come see our living room, our right. dining area, and the kitchen and what have you. So I do. Yeah. Please come visit. Come visit. Give us your number so they can give you a okay. call in case they're interested. Uh, my number is 410-490-6927. And my partner, who is my sister Susan, right. uh, her number is 410-924-1114. And you can call us at any time. Hours of operation. In Monday through Friday, we're open from 730 to 5. Um, closed major holidays. So tell us what you have going on. What are some of the activities that you're doing over there? Well, this week we are having a blast. It is a Senior Spirit Week, and we are helping the Department of Aging mm -hmm. to celebrate. So today, everyone wore their pajamas and right. their robes, and the Department of Aging came over and visited with them, the residents oh, this morning. Great. So it was fun. It was a lot of fun. And tomorrow's Crazy Hat Day, so we have crazy hats all ready to go. Oh, I heard yes. they were making them. They did. They Fred, did, Fred really McNeil listen. was yes. saying, he was over or something, he said, they're making hats. I said, I know, that's Spirit Week. Yes. Um, Spirit Week has Pajama Day, Hat Day. What's the next thing um, that they will participate? Pajama Day, Hat Day, uh, we have Favorite Decade Day. Okay. Which that should be interesting because we have a, a wide span of decades. One of our ladies is 90 years old, so she has quite a few decades to choose wow. from. Wow. Uh, one day is uh, mix and match day, and then that leads right. us into Friday is actually right. red, white, and blue day. Oh, that's good. Yes, yes. I'm so, um, how often? I mean, you're you're going to get people to come with you to go out when you do your trip to the mm -hmm. summit. How often would you have a trip out like that? Well, right now, which leads me to my reason I came today is. We are in the process of trying to find a van. Okay. Um, because we're a small organization, we had not planned for that in the beginning, but we are growing so quickly that we need a van to pick them up, take them home, and to also go on field trips. Okay. So on May 29th, we are having a what we call a yard sale in our parking lot from 11 in the morning till 3 that afternoon. And it was really the participants idea to help raise money for to go towards a van. Okay. And so they're very excited about that. So do you need, I mean, if people have donations, could they bring things in that you could sell sure. and then just sure. keep the money mm -hmm. from that? Um, we're asking anyone that has donations to please bring them by on the 21st. Okay. Um, for space reasons, you know, I can't have everybody bringing the day right. before. That would be right. a little hectic because the participants want to also label things and you know help with this. So yes, if, if anybody has anything to donate, to please bring it on the twenty first. We would be ever so grateful, and we do um, could use some more volunteers to help us that afternoon. If anybody has a you know even a half hour, but we strongly encourage our community to come by during their lunch breaks. You know, it's we're right here in town within walking distance. What better way to spend your lunch Now, breaking? you're talking volunteers on the 21st or on the 29th? On the 29th. Okay. Yeah, on the day of the actual yard sale. All right. And the hours that that was again? 11 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Okay. It's on a Friday. Yeah, so 
Um, oh, that's exciting. It is because I think the last time I spoke with you, we had between five and seven. We've doubled. Wow. In size, yes. So That's wonderful. It is. It is. We're very excited. So you need volunteers also to help with activities like at the center. That would be nice. <laughs> yes, yeah. Keep us busy. <laughs> yeah, we um, actually have. I have one young lady who is in college and she's getting ready to start after the Labor Day weekend. So yes, anybody can come, even if it's, they can just give us an hour of their time. You know, right. it's just helping create a sense of community again. You know, yes, we, we would welcome that. Yeah, it's important, and no matter what age level, to be able to socialize. And so even like when we taught, the sixth graders would have that senior fun day mm -hmm. and, and to sit down and talk to a senior and find out what it was like when they went to school right. or what type of job they might have done because things are so different now are. with technology i mean we were talking about how fast that changes and i'm sure it's a adjustment for some of the people that you have in your center you and know as we were discussing that this morning about heroes and villains and how far back you know some of them could remember was roy rogers was a, right. you know, a heroic person and um but it was interesting to see the younger younger ones, you know, who they came up with. So there is such a, a span. There of is, age. there is. Yeah. And then you if you, we do have some young people still from the high school that are coming in, you know, to sit and listen to the, these participants and their stories, you just wanna wow, you know, that life was really different back then. Well, even their way of communication. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of those children that are coming from the high school and they're so used to using the phone and texting, and yet some of the people that are in your center don't have the dexterity to do that. So it's important, that was something that Mike and I found out at a conference one time, that you know they were all excited about, oh, you know, you can do this on the phone and that on the phone. And after the conference was over, Mike asked them, what about talking with them? What about that personal touch? Because they just wanted to communicate between devices. Mm -hmm. You know, so some somewhere along the line, you got to have the compassion to sit down and face to face right. and physically see the person. I, I totally agree. We need to see the emotion. Yeah. How passionate that person can be about whatever that topic is. It's so easy to text because you can say what you have to say and walk away. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like being rude to that person. You're getting up and walking away from them. Whereas face-to-face -face communication is so important, it really is. Well, we thank you for coming in. Anything else that's happening that? Um, our residents can be seen anytime sitting outside in their lawn chairs. Okay. They, they love to be outside. So please wave and say hello to them. Um, so maybe someday we'll have a front porch. <laughs> but we just encourage the public to stop by, see what we're about, and even for those families that have some thoughts in the back of their mind that they're not quite sure if mom or dad or their uncle you know is struggling come come talk to us right come talk to us first you may not need our services and that's okay but at least you know another resource that you can go to right we can talk about what the future may hold what's there for you at that time so it's it's not just about getting you know them in the door it's about helping your community understand the elderly and the challenges that they face. Yeah, and if they're not ready for maybe every day coming in there, you, a person could work out a plan sure. where they could, you know, we'll start going once or twice a week and then Absolutely. increase it as, right. as their need mm -hmm. would arise. Right. They can even start as, to come as a volunteer. Oh, that just would be, to yeah. be comfortable with the others that are there and, you know, the flow of how the day goes. That would be okay. Yeah. Well, we thank you for coming in, and hopefully people will contact you. You want to give them your number again if they have something to donate or yes. would have time? Yes. Um, all donations for our yard sale will be accepted on May 21st. Our yard sale is on May 29th from 11 to 3 in our parking lot. So if, during your lunch break, if you work in town, please stop by. 
Um, we are also, um, if anyone has you know, an hour or two to volunteer, to come hang out with us and have lots of fun, please stop by again and we'll see what we can't get started. And we just want to thank the community again for um, us being able to provide this service right. and uh, the, the great response that we've had. Yeah, yeah that's wonderful. It is. That it is. Yeah. It's exciting.